Hi, it's Matt Morris. Welcome to another episode of The Unemployed Millionaire Show, The Entrepreneur's Guide to Lifestyle Freedom. Today I'm going to cover something that I think is just critically important for any entrepreneur, and that is really controlling your day so your day doesn't control you. One of the chapters that I have in The Unemployed Millionaire, it's actually chapter six if you've read through the book, is uh, goes through my plan for action management. and. I'm just going to share with you exactly what I go through on a daily basis uh, as far as planning my day. And I use a, uh, a Franklin planner, just a little, you know, real small, something that, uh, you know, fit in a backpack, uh, nothing that's real bulky or anything like that. And it has basically a couple things on the screen, and I know it's going to overly impress you here. Uh, this is my uh, drawing of what the page looks like. On the left side, it has your prioritized daily task list. So all the things that you want to accomplish for the day on the other page is the schedule. And so here's the basics of what I go through. And the way I do my planning, uh, for me, this just works. The, uh, right before bed, uh, in fact, when I'm getting in bed every night, I pop open my planner and I plan out all the things that I need to do for the next day. I personally, I'm not a morning person, so um, if I wake up in the morning and then have to plan, my brain just doesn't function right. So uh, if you're a morning person, it might work in the uh, morning for you. If you're like me, do it in the evening. So. The first thing I do is I go through all of the things that I know I need to do for the next day. And so uh, let's say, you know, I know I need to do a blog post. And so I'll write blog post. And I know I need, I've got a workout with my trainer for the next day. So I've got my workout. I know I need to take my vitamins or something I actually, you know, put in my planner every day. So take vitamins. And let's say I may need to write a chapter in my next book. So write chapter. And let's say I may need to call someone. So I'll say I'll call John. Now, I just put five things here. Typically, there's a lot more than five. But uh, for simplicity, we'll just do the five here. So once I get everything that I know I need to do put on the task list, then I'll go through and I will put a priority. And the way I do the priorities is an A, a B, or a C. And so it's basically like this. An A priority absolutely must get done tomorrow. It's something that's um, not a maybe or not a should. It's a must. I have to do it. Um, so I'll go through and figure out what the A's are, what the B's are. Now a B is something that really needs to be done, really should be done, but is not absolutely mandatory. And then a C, a C priority item is something that you know, it's not going to really make a big deal one way or the other. It's not, uh, you know, time critical or, you know, it's not going to, um, you know, be negative if I don't get it done. So, uh, so anyway, I'm going to go through and let's say it's Sunday night. Uh, now, we've got um, our Motivational Monday blog post on Monday. So I know that blog post is an A item. You know, it absolutely has to be done. And just a secret, um, we actually plan those uh, usually several weeks in advance, um, two or three weeks usually. So Sunday night, I'm actually not, uh, not doing those. Uh, so workout, you know, I know workout. That's an A item because I'm, you know, I've got an appointment with my trainer. So I know workout is an A. Now, taking my vitamins, uh, that's just an A for me because I'm totally committed to that. Uh, the next one is write a chapter in my next book. Now, that's something that I don't have a deadline for. It's something that I probably should do, but it's not you know, really time critical. So writing the chapter is going to be a C priority. And then John, you know, John called me yesterday, someone that I need to call back, but not, you know, it's not just going to kill me if I don't call him. So let's say calling John is a B priority. So I have my A, B, and C priorities. Now the next thing that I personally like to do, because I like to just have my day totally planned out, and I want to know what order to do those tasks in, and I find that if I have an order, I, it just gives me a path to run on, and I'm more likely to get them done. So I'm going to go through and figure out, okay, out of my A priorities, which ones am I going to do first? And so I know the first thing I'm going to do in the morning is work out. So I'm going to put A1. That's what I'll do first. Taking my vitamins, I'll take right after the workout. So that's my A2. And then writing my blog post. As soon as I get home from the workout, I'm going to get busy on writing the blog post. So that's A1, A2, and A3. Now, 
Uh, then I'll go through and I'll prioritize my B items. So here, obviously, we only have one. Uh, if I had more, I'd obviously have B1, B2, B3. And then C priorities. If I can get to the C priorities after I've done the A's and B's, um, then you know I'll prioritize those. So C1. So now when I wake up, I know exactly what I'm doing first. I'm working out. So I just look A1, then A2, then A3, then I go to my B's, then I go to my C's. So it just gives me a path to run on. Now, if you are a business owner, you've got a lot going on, you may have, like I do many days, 20 different things on your list. And one of the things that I find myself doing a lot is everything's an A priority. You know, I just uh, want to get things done. So I've got, you know, 15 A priorities. And what ends up happening is you don't have enough time to get them done. And so what happens is the A priorities become kind of meaningless. So what you want to do is make sure that you're only assigning an A priority to something that's absolutely an A. It's an absolute must. The other thing that, uh, that I do that helps a lot is I'll figure out how much time it's going to take. And so, um, you know, my blog post, I know that's going to take an hour, so I'll put one hour. Workout, that's going to take an hour. Taking my vitamins is going to take, you know, five minutes. That's real simple. Writing a chapter in my book. Now, that's going to take uh, maybe a good three hours uh, just to go through that and uh, to write even just kind of an outline, an initial piece of that. Uh, call John. You know, I know John talks a lot, so that may be a 45-minute call. So I'll just do 45 minutes. So I've got... Then I basically go and add up all the different items. Uh, so I've got an hour, two hours, um, five hours, five hours and 45 minutes, uh, five hours and 50 minutes basically to do all those items. So, you know, in this example, I can easily get all of these things done. What the reason why I found it important to put the time that it's going to take me to achieve those is I mainly do those for the A priorities because if you look at your A's and you see that it's going to take you 15 hours to do all your A's, you're never going to get all your A's done. So you can kind of reprioritize. So, you know, I go through that. The other thing that really works for me is to block it out in the schedule. And so, you know, obviously it's easy with the workout, you know, 9 a.m. I put the workout and vitamins. So I'm going to do all that within the 9 to 10 hour and I circle it. Why? I don't know. It just helps me, you know, visually kind of block things out. And then the next thing is uh, my blog post. I'm going to do that in uh, A3 right after the vitamins. So I'm going to put write blog and I'm going to circle out, you know, that that section. So here's the thing, while I'm writing my blog post, I consider this like an appointment with the doctor. So I'm going to turn off my email, I'm going to turn off my cell phone, the only thing I'm committed to doing is getting that blog post done. Uh, then after that, you know, I'll put whatever it is, um, you know, whatever the next items are. So the key is just scheduling your items here because if you don't schedule them, what happens is life gets in the way. Calls come in, emails come in, you get distracted and you don't get things done. So here's my action management formula. I'd encourage you to try this out. Give it a month, give it 90 days. And what I can guarantee you is that if you follow this formula, you're going to be a lot more productive. So check it out uh, in the blog, uh, in the comments below. Let me know how you like it and we'll see you on the next episode.